The pituitary gland, also known as the hypophysis, is an endocrine gland that's often called the master gland because it not only secretes many important hormones, but also regulates the activity of a multitude of other hormone-secreting glands and target organs throughout the body. The pituitary gland is connected to and situated just below the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus controls hormone release from the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is divided into anterior and posterior components. The posterior pituitary is also called the neurohypophysis. It is composed of the posterior lobe of the pituitary and a structure called the infundibular or pituitary stalk, which connects the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary, also known as the adenohypophysis, consists of three parts. The anterior lobe, a smaller intermediate lobe that's typically only distinct in the fetal and newborn pituitary, and a section of tissue called the pars tuberalis which wraps around the infundibular stalk. The anterior pituitary contains cells that produce several important hormones. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, growth hormone, and prolactin. These hormones are produced in the anterior pituitary, but their secretion into the bloodstream is controlled by signaling hormones made and secreted by the hypothalamus. Two hormones, oxytocin and vasopressin, are secreted into the bloodstream from the posterior pituitary. These hormones are not made in the pituitary gland, but instead are synthesized in neurons in the hypothalamus. The axons of these neurons extend from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary, and oxytocin and vasopressin are transported from their site of synthesis in the cell body to axon terminals in the posterior pituitary. They are secreted into the bloodstream as a result of action potentials in the neurons they're found in.